The rule of law must be protected at all costs, given that it is one of the democratic principles that sustain Nigeria's governmental structure. This was a call made by the Spaces for Change in conjunction with Campaign for Justice Initiative and other civil society groups at the protest march for the release of legal practitioner Emperor Obuna, who has been in the custody of the Department of State Services since March 2020. The Abuja branch of the Nigeria Bar Association also submitted a petition at the National Human Rights Commission headquarters in Abuja, just as it expressed displeasure over disregard of the two orders of the Federal High Court in Umaya, the Abia State Capital, ordering the release of its member. You can imagine all through COVID-19 lockdown, this man has been in detention while his family languishes without him. As members of the NBA, as watchdogs of the rule of law, we are obligated to stand in defense of the rule of law. What is happening in Nigeria is not the way it should go. We are a country that is governed by rule of law, not rule of man, not by the DSS or anybody. We have our constitution to obey. If DSS that is mad, that is considered by the constitution cannot obey the constitution, then what are we? What type of country are we building for ourselves? That an agency of government will be so high-handed, will be so... We, be, we are much forward to ourselves and be dissipating it the way it wants. We do not want that. We are calling for his release. Wherever he is, his family needs him. His colleagues in the bar needs him. His Nigeria people needs him. While receiving the petition, the Executive Secretary National Human Rights Commission stated it was illegal for Ogbunna to be in detention, having fulfilled his bail conditions, saying the law must take its course. You have no right to sit down in your air-conditioned office and say you will not obey the order of the court. Yes. So all well-meaning citizens of Nigeria must rise up and condemn this kind of attitude. Any law enforcement agent that does this is promoting impunity and it cannot be encouraged. So we join you today to say no to this kind of impunity. He has done nothing. The only thing he did was to express himself, yes. to express himself, yes. and that right is guaranteed in our constitution. Yes. Today he is being detained. On the 24th of March 2020, over 20 policemen in company of the Chief of Staff to the Governor of Abia State, Tony Agbazwiri, and the then Commissioner of Police, Ene Okon, stormed Ubuna's chambers and arrested him over a Facebook post. He was alleged to have posted that Iqbal Azuk visited a shrine outside the country where he swore an oath of allegiance and secrecy to a former governor of the state. Ogbunna, who denied being the originator of the post, said he only reshared it. The lawyer was granted bail by a federal high court sitting in Umaya, the state capital, on April 29th we were arrested as later by the DSS. On the day Emperor Gabriel Ubunna was granted bail, government officials led by Chief of Staff to the Governor, Dr. A.C. Agbazwiri, accompanied by officials of the DSS, were said to have forcefully attempted to rearrest Ubunna within the premises of the Federal High Court, but was resisted by prison officials and lawyers present because the bail term was yet to be perfected. Upon obtaining the necessary documentation in the presence of prison warders, they drove to the correctional center at Afara in Umaya, rearrested Ubunna and whisked him away to an unknown destination. You have undermined your calling for being a legal practitioner and using your position as chief of staff to undermine our laws by unlawfully detaining a citizen and your colleague. The freedom of Ubunna, who has been in detention for over 70 days, still hangs in the balance. All we are saying,